Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. So if you have any scuba diving questions, by all means pop them down in the comment section underneath this video and use the Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured. Today I'm answering a question from Edward Whitehill about chlorine in swimming pools affecting your dive equipment. So Edward asks, thanks for another informative video, you're welcome. I purchased a new 7mm wetsuit and hood, so I did a few dives in the local dive shop pool to dial in my weighting. Asked Henderson about cleaning it and they stated a few times in the pool would be okay, but three or four times a month for a few months could be a problem as chlorine is caustic to neoprene. What impact, if any, does chlorine have over all of my other equipment's components? Uh, a Ranger, BCD, G2 dive computer, a finger spool with DSMB, fins with bungee straps or stainless steel springs. Also, I dive in the pool a few times a month just to get away and work on skills, always using my gear as configured for open water dives. My gear is not cheap, so again, is it wise due to these chlorine. Chlorine from pool water can prematurely wear and damage parts of your dive equipment, so it is best to wash them thoroughly after a pool session. You'll typically see black materials discolor and they turn brown or gray after repeated exposure, but o-rings as well can degrade in your BCD and your regulators and they'll need servicing more frequently. But yeah, chlorine if you have a look at pool equipment, unless they've just invested in some new stuff, uh, it, it typically goes like brown. If you go on um, like eBay or something and you search for scuba X school or something, you'll typically find a lot of like dull grays and brown like looking colored BCDs. The same will happen for wet seats and whatnot because it just, I don't know exactly what it does, but it does wear away and it tends to feel like thinner and weaker uh, after like repeated exposure to chlorine. Whereas if you like wash it quite thoroughly with like warm soapy water between dives, it's gonna wash a lot of that chlorine off and it should extend its lifetime. It's um, a lot of BCDs nowadays, oh, is it called Resistec, I wanna say, is a, um, the first one I think I saw was the Aqualung Pro HD BCD and the material that they use, the like nylon cordura mesh like material that they used on the, uh, on the outside, it was specifically designed to resist UV light and UV damage as well as chlorine so that the black in the BCD stays black for longer. Um, even without like sort of regular washing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the little O-rings that are exposed to the water. <clears throat> They'll start to um, almost disintegrate. They, um, they get quite thready. Um, I don't think I have any um, like old O-rings knocking around, but they, um, I'll, I'll have a dig through this whilst I'm answering your question. Um, they, um, they go quite thready. Most of these are quite new and They'll just allow some gas to um, to slip through, and they'll just leak if you uh, if you don't look after them. Um, no, these are all good, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, chlorine it's it's not good for your dive equipment, and it, it's good to um, to like wash it out. It probably won't affect like stainless steel springs, your um, your bungee heel straps. They should be okay. Um, again, I'd give them a good wash and a good dry between dives. Um, but yeah, the, the worst thing that you could do is just like hang them up because especially with the like material, mesh like material, it'll soak that up. The chlorine will stay inside of it. And even when it's like dry to the touch, the chlorine is still there. So as soon as you get it wet again, the chlorine's just gonna just aggravate and uh, and like slowly disintegrate your dive equipment so uh yeah it's it's quite important to uh, to keep it um like fresh and clean and wash any of that chlorine off i mean i had a pool mask uh that i would do that with and i'd use that at least once a day at the dive center and take it off just hang it up on a uh, on a hook on the wall and yeah, you come to it the next day, put it on, boom. And it would still grow mold despite the, the chlorine. The chlorine is good for killing a lot of nasties, but 
just a warm, humid environment, you're always going to get like nasty, like growing in it if you don't wash it properly. So it is important to uh, to give it a good thorough wash. Um, and like regulators on the inside and the uh, and the outside, there are still O-rings that you can't necessarily see, but they're still exposed to uh, to the water. And things like the the diaphragm on the inside, it'll just start to uh, like wear away and it will just need like servicing and replacing before long because that's just soft, um, malleable. And if that's exposed to chlorine, eventually that's just gonna wear away. It'll start to go a bit brittle uh, and that'll cost you at your uh, at your next service. So yeah, it's, it's best to give everything a good thorough soak in some fresh, mildly soapy water. Um, give it a bit of a scrub as well. And, um, and that way it's gonna help reduce your service costs and, um, and reduce you needing to replace your equipment before long.